Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, welcome to Daily News, breaking news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Subscribe to the channel, follow us on all our social media platforms on Instagram, Prince Miller Entertainment, Facebook, are Prince Miller Entertainment, Facebook group, are Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Follow us on Twitter, at P Miller ENT. Welcome to another edition of our Daily News, breaking news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Yes, say, today is the 11th of December, 2021. Uh, civil society organization uh, yesterday said uh, President Emerson Nangagwa had failed to honor his November 2017 pledge to uphold human rights and promote good governance as he continues to further shrink the democratic space in the country. This came out yesterday as local civil groups joined the rest of the world in commemorating International Human Rights Day. This year's commemorations were held under the theme Equality, Reducing inequalities and advancing human rights crisis in zimbabwe coalition spokesperson marvelous kumalo speaking on behalf of over 350 civil groups said mnangagwa had failed to address the country's toxic political environment and marginalization of minority ethnic groups since he took over power through a military coup in november 2017 a toxic political environment coupled with high levels of corruption remain some of the major factors contributing towards inequality with the government discriminating citizens along political party lines, Kumalo said. Despite claims of new dispensation, Nangagwa's government has a tainted human rights record and as such has failed to put human rights at the center of its development initiatives, he added. He said the draconian laws, judicial capture, arbitrary arrest, persecution of, so, of civil society actors and the ongoing arbitrary constitutional amendments continue to reverse the democratic gains attained by the adoption of a new constitution in 2013. Southern Defenders, a membership organization of civil society organizations from across Southern Africa, called upon governments in the region to respect, promote and protect all international rec recognized and constitutional guaranteed human rights and fundamental freedoms. Southern defenders urge governments in the region to safeguard the online and offline civil democratic and civil society space. A country which respects human rights has better prospects of engineering inclusive and sustainable economic growth. Southern defenders team leader Washington Katema said the leaders in Southern Africa and beyond should demonstrate the political will to foster a culture of human rights in their respective countries. This is also time to move from survival rights to free expression rights. Our people deserve the full menu of rights. The Election Resources Center, ERC, said ERC continues to push for the by-elections to be held. Elections are the bedrock of democracy and the continued suspension of by-elections infringes on citizens' human rights. And so that's the latest year. They're saying that ED has failed a uh, democracy test he has failed to uphold uh, what he said actually in 2017 when he took over as the Zimbabwean president. And uh, so, at the time in the comment section, do you agree with this or you don't agree? And uh, let's comment in the comment section. This is a daily news, everyday news, on breaking news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. These are civil um, society organizations, almost like 350 of them. They are saying that EG is failing to uphold. Uh, the rule of law of Zimbabwe and respect the human rights. Yeah, each and every time that uh, you know we're expecting more from him, you know, as the second republic, because uh, the first republic So in this whole issue, we're expecting a lot from ED, but the main uh, is failed. But some people they don't see it that way. The reason why we are having this discussion in the comment section there. And again, this is a daily news, everyday news, breaking news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Remember guys to like, share and comment and follow us on all our social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, and also on our Facebook group, which is a Prince Miller Entertainment TV. This is a daily news, everyday news on breaking news. Thank you very much for listening and watching. Bless up.